Hello, I'm Otter, and welcome to episode 3 from this server I share with friends and family, where today we're starting phase 1 of an epic server-changing build. Last episode, we did some prep work by building a gold farm and a wither skelly farm to give us unlimited beacons. Now, you might be saying, Hey Otter, what episode are you talking about? I don't see any episode 2 from this world. Well, it turns out I forgot to record all the key bits. This is going to be a bit of a recurring theme. Sorry. Anyway, let's move on. The overall plan is to build real roads and paths between every area on the server. Everybody's base, every industrial district, every little point of interest, they're all going to be connected by roads or trails or something, and we're going to make sure that we have interesting stuff happening around all of those roads. This project is going to take a while, so we're going to break it down into phases, and each of those phases might take a few episodes. For today's plan, we're going to start here at my starter house, come up and through these hills here, and then continue the path across the fields on the other side of the hills, and through to the village. Then we're going to go back through and add all the details, like maybe a sheep farm, some farm fields, and whatever else we come up with. So let's get started. Those among you with particularly keen eyes might notice that this does not look a whole lot like building a path. And there's a reason for that. It's because this isn't building a path. I've got some friends who are just now getting Minecraft, and I have invited them to join us on the realm, and I want them to be able to get into the game really easily. So I'm going to let them decide if they actually want any of this, but to make life easy for them if they want it, I'm going to go ahead and prepare a gift pack for each of them. I'm going to make sure they've got basically everything they need to just jump into the late game Minecraft. And like I said, they may or may not actually be interested, but just in case they want it, I want it to be an option. So we're going to dig some more. But in this world, I'm not a dwarf. I'm just an otter. And digging isn't super exciting, so I'll probably just put in a real quick little montage of finding diamonds. It'll be very fast. I'll be right back. After a little bit of grinding, I've got two welcome packages prepared. Everything is enchanted. It's not necessarily enchanted very well. The only thing I made sure of was the elytra mending and unbreaking. Everything else is kind of random what it got. Still, for just logging into the server for the very first time, this will be pretty thoroughly geared up. If they want it, which they may not. There's my starter house down there and the path that winds its way up and I ended up putting it through a tunnel here. I had a plan. There was going to be a big castle or something above it, but it wasn't a fully finished plan. And I've never really figured out what the heck I was trying to do. And as much as I like the design of tunnel that I came up with, I can do better anyway. And it just, none of this makes sense right now. It also makes it much harder to do a real path in between the areas. So I'm going to go ahead, dig this out and dig all of this down. As you can see, we have taken out quite a bit of this hillside. I'm going to shave these down a bit on the sides, but I want to leave it, I don't know, at least somewhat tall. I like the idea of having a nice cliffside on the sides. So when you're looking at it, wow, people carved this out. I have some ideas on how to make that look cool. So, hmm. I wonder if I was recording any of that. Nope. I completely forgot to record the last little while. I talked quite a bit to the camera. It just turns out the camera wasn't on, so it was not the most productive talking to the camera. Anyway, so what I've been doing is using coarse dirt to map out the path. You can see how it comes up, and all this part that I've carved out is going to be the new path. And I think I like the general layout of it, but I think it needs a bit more elevation change. Hmm. 
this was the point where the project got out of control. I kept changing my mind on what I was doing, how I was going to do it, where I wanted to stop, and so on. And the end result was that I had a bunch of pretty incoherent footage and terrible explanations of things I didn't even do. So I've decided the best way to handle all of that is to just pretend it doesn't exist. Poof. Problem solved. I am definitely a pro at content creation. Instead, here's a time lapse of the whole process. When it's done, I'm going to go through what's coming up next for this project because there's a lot still to do, and I would love your input on that. So stick around and let me know what you think. Walking around out here, aside from the path itself, it almost looks like nothing really changed. And that's the point. It all looks reasonably natural, in ways that the default Minecraft terrain generally doesn't. If I put a before and after on the screen at the same time, that's when you'll see just how much changed over the course of the project. Obviously, we didn't get through the whole plan I laid out at the start of the video, so we're going to be back here a few more times to tackle different parts of the project which is where I'd love your input on a few things. First thing I want to ask about is these beacons. I've decided that I want to have beacons along the whole path, giving us speed boost, taste, and so on the whole way. But just having these big lights coming out of the ground looks pretty goofy. I was thinking we could have some kind of structure around them, so it looks like somebody built these magical structures and lined the path with them. The question is... Were the structures built by the same people who carved this part of the path through the hillside? Were they built later? Or are the beacon structures maybe even older than this part of the path, and the path builders just use the magic of the beacons to speed up the digging process? And do we think that the beacon builders were the same people who built this lighthouse by the village? Next question is, what do you think we should tackle next? Should we connect the path the whole way through to the village? Should we focus on finishing up this section? Adding in all the texturing and all the details and stuff? Maybe we want to tackle the beacon structures. Or maybe I need to get that sheep farm going. I'd really love to know what you folks think would be interesting. That's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. The next one from this world should take a whole lot less time to get done, so we'll see an update soon. Until then, remember to take care of yourself, and maybe cause a little bit of chaos as a treat for yourself. You've earned it. Bye!